and welcome to episode of Tag Ghost 2005, the Patriot Citadel season. It's time for the third round of the Battle for the West. True North Monument, we're off to the desert. Let's get on with it. Welcome to the desert. The True North Monument course in Scottsdale, Arizona is target golf at its best. Hello again, everybody. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Faraday is ready to call the action today, so let's send it down to the first tee. Welcome to round three of this PGA Tour event at the Monument Course at True North. Here we go. The first tee. We're going to aim for the throat on this fairway here. I can hit it straight, it's fine. He's just blasting we go. Well, the vodka power boost is to make sure it stays in the fairway and doesn't go too far. Let's just set up a relatively straightforward approach shot. Sandwich. We'll try and roll this one back a bit down the, that, the hill if it goes too far. This approach looks good. Which it, it did a little bit. I don't want to overdo it actually, because if we do if we overdo it, it's gonna keep rolling. I mean that's straight in the hole, isn't it? That's a yep. birdie. Nice and easy. Easy start for the day. Oh, it's Tiger Woods. I'm trying to catch you, man. Stop playing. Stop playing golf. I, I, have a holiday. The second <laughs> holiday is a par three with us. Right uphill into the wind here. If you play any slower, you'll have to join the group. Six behind. high, but power boost. That's out the hole. It's out the hole. It's right by the hole. Get much better than that. One foot from the pin. It's happening. Forty-seven under. Two birdies, off to a good start here, in the third round of the Battle for the West. Tiger Woods has put in a sub-60 score, that's quite rare actually from the AI. This par 5 is a signature. It's going to be too little too late. Screw you, Cactus. Oh, he's got all that one, just crushed it down the fairway. Was it through the gap in the Cactus, I think. David, just under 190 yards. It's going to so, a relatively straight. Well, I'll say straight. It's uh, easy enough approach shot here, as long as we're not uh, too aggressive. It is downhill. It's gone left. Oh, we should be happy with this approach shot. It's right at the hole. Oof! Right by the hole. Is truly impressive. For a second, I thought that might be going in the hole, but it wasn't to be. But it's a tough and eagle, and you can't complain about that at all. Three holes, I think we've played almost perfectly, to be fair. Let's keep this going. Let's keep it going. The fourth hole is a par four with an extremely wide fairway. Par four, wide open fairway. Just got to make sure you don't get too close to the rocks on the right side. So we'll aim it left. Well, I'm just speechless after that drive. Speechless. I'm hoping we're pitching around here. But yeah, if anything, I'm actually a bit too close. I'm gonna play a flop shot. This looks really good. Oh, it carried on, man. Gotta love that. I guess those shots playing short. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. Really should have put a bit of uh, backspin on that. There we go. Me. I think it might have been just about straight in the hole, but it looked quite pacey down the hill there, so I took a little bit of power out of it and therefore had to hit it a little bit to the left. So the left because the left to right break was going to take more effect. It worked out. Hole five is a long straightaway par four. Fifth hole hit. Nice and chill so far. No, it's not the best drive ever. Oh, I think this is gonna be. It's gonna work good. out perfectly fine, but I could have got more power on that. Still, 341 yards, not bad. I think a high pitching wedge is the best play here. It's downhill a little bit. Oh, it's gone. Air oh, traffic oh. control. It's gone right. For the flagstick. But the power was spot on, so a bit of less spin saves it. Keeps it tight, keeps it close to the hole. That's what you call being. Another tapping birdie will take it, but the spin bell is out there. The best of it I've ever done. The sixth hole is a par right. four that. Pr hey, you've driven a green already today. Let's see you do it again. It is uphill. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit a power boost to three wood. I think this will get closer than the driver. Ooh, here's a good looking yeah, I was shot. right. I was very right. It's right by the hole. Oh, oh. You gotta love that. That's fantastic. The par four hole in one was millimeters this away. It was like an inch away. I think it changed direction as well. I think it hit the very edge of the hole. Oh, it was nearly the perfect shot. We'll whack it back up the hill. Eight under par today. Tap an eagle, but the hole in one was so close. Oh, let's see. I've done it once, actually, to be fair. I've done it more than once, but I've done it once, like, in season Old mode. Seven is a par three with two I did it a second bunker. time with my other character. It was in the uh, extra content video for 2022. Let's go. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. Fair front spin. It's towards the hole. Right by the hole again here. We're on fire here today. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. When a player goes 50, it's easy when you're this accurate. You've just got to. It's easy. For now. Can't mess up a putt when you're like two feet away, unless we are no four, <laughs> as we saw against Pandavik. The eighth hole is a par four. I'm ready for Megan, though. I've got notes. I've played the game off camera in practice to try and get like the right positioning for on the greens, the right clubs for every shot. I'm gonna smoke him next time, Tom. An intimidating display of There we go. Right there. Middle of the fairway here. Once again, flop shovel. This time. Great shot. He's gotta be pleased by this. This time it does play shot. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. Kind of left edge, bit of power. Ten under par. It's actually straight up. I think the only little break was at the start. It was a little bit to the right, but if you know, if you hit it pretty hard to get it back up the hill, it doesn't take much effect. But it's in the hole, and that's all that matters. It's not a miss. Hole nine is a straightaway par five with par five. Up the hill here. Because it's uphill on the tee, it's quite a long par five actually. That's a pretty good amount of power boost. That one. It should be in range. Going to quite a one yard drive, we'll take it. Yeah, mid irons. We'll play a far iron to play it safe, and I'll backspin it if I need to. This should be close to the flagstick. Which I don't really. Another bit of backspin, keep oh, it tight. What a shot! Another close approach to far iron, the right call there. For eagle. But I am the completely the correct call. Left edge, a little bit of power. Tap an eagle. I'm cruising here. Shoot 57 under... I'm cruising in the desert here. Halfway through. Absolutely cruising. The tenth hole is a dog leg left par four. Well, we're going to go for it, even though I think without the wind, it will play short, because we've got to get it up the hill. It's not going to work out, but we'll try. This is an impressive shot. It's going to stop, like, almost dead here. But still, you can try and pitch this one in. To be fair, get this one close. Easy birdie. You're still giving yourself a chance of an eagle. Ah, no. I was going to try and hit, uh, hit it straight the hole, because it'll go left and spin it right, but it's not worked out. This attempt the slope of the green had a bit too much of an effect. Great birdie. Annoyingly. Once but it is a tap and birdie. Something special on the course. Which you need on that. that that's actually a pretty tough green. So we made the right call there regardless. Because we had the power to definitely cover, you know, get onto the fairway near the green anyway. I wasn't going like, to lose Holy much by going for it. Long par Worst case scenario, I'm at the bottom of that hill, but on the fairway. Pitch shot, get it close. No, best scenario, I, I, I somehow get it on the green. All works out. 539 yards. It's a par 5, but it's a par 5 that way we can cut the dog leg because of our power, which makes this quite straightforward. Unless we're stupid. Tons of power behind that shot. Missed up the power boost again. He didn't get a lot of it, but it's enough. We cut the dog leg, leaving us with a 9-9, 8-iron shot. I'll play 7-9. Bit of power boost. I have a good feeling about this one. 
As long as I carry that front slope, I'm okay. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. A little short, but I'm not on the slope. I'm on the flat part of the green. Or the flatter part of the green. It's like left edge. Bit of power. Whoa, hit that a bit too hard, actually. I hit that a little too hard. I feel like my putting's been a little huff today. But I've been that close, it's not mattered. If I'm honest. My approach play's been really good. I've not got a chip in yet, we deserve one, if I'm honest. Okay, I'm feeling confident. With this win, we're going to go for it. I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm feeling confident here. That's a lot of power boost. Carry, carry, carry! Oh, it's, it's in the rough. There, I'm afraid. Dangerous play, but we avoid the bunker. It's in the rough, but the got world, away with it. This is pretty much as good as the fairway. Yeah, we'll play a pitch shot out. I can't spin this out of the rough. But I can Try play a pitch shot here. That yeah, that'll do. Now that's what you call that'll do. Target. From the rough without the spin, that'll do. It's basically straight in. That's it. I was tempted to take a little bit of power out of it, but I thought, nah. I'll tap it in. Alright, went, went a bit too aggressive there, but we saved it nice and easy. These greens that are, for the most part, is a straightforward... for the most part, aren't too tough. Right, I think this is going to go left, left to right a little bit on the roll. We're looking at the back of the green here. I was right. The right idea, just not left enough though. This I played it a little safe to make sure it stayed on the green. I don't know, it didn't end up, you know, off the green on the other side. To where I am. There we go. Stay on the money. Under. And then Marco. I'm assuming he's going to get a worse score for the third round here, but he is going to potentially tie for second place with Tiger Woods. The 14th hole is another month. We only care about that because of the career earnings thing. That's like the end goal. Get the trophy ball. I can't get all the trophy balls because the power Great one, drive. the average drive distance, just seems impossible if I'm honest. At 260 yards, this is not an easy shot. No, you're absolutely Tough right. Tough shot here. Yeah, Cut between two clubs into the wind as well. I'm going to full send with a two iron and try and spin gonna it. going to muscle up more than that if you want to get on that green. Oh, yeah. I couldn't quite make it. Just out of range. We can try and pitch this, though. It's going to go left. Ah, oh, spun it wrong. First mistake, technically, this but with that wind, there's not that I can do. Birdies in a row. That's one of those half eagle chances, really. Yeah, it's over 600 yards, you know what I mean. If the wind's against it, you're in trouble. And I'd rather take a two iron and play a little shot and go a three wood and Hole 15 get is a straightaway. It's downhill, but into the wind. So it can be reached, but once again, it's a half chance. This ball's going to keep going, going, going. I don't think it mattered, going. the wind was going to stop that. I went for it, because if I do make it, I can just target vision the ball, uh, the put. Should get relatively close. It's going no, left, but it should be on the green. It's not actually. I'm not using target vision here today. There we go. This hole comes with... Have I ever done a round without using a target vision on sort difficulty? I don't think I have. Maybe I should hit. Maybe, yeah, because I'm going to win anyway. Who cares? We'll see. This ball looks to be on we'll target. Oh, right by the oh, hole. Can you believe it? It's going to be a tough short shot of putt, though, isn't it? David? Yeah. Not much here, Gary. Just a little break to the left. Yeah, there we go. I'll overhit it a little bit in terms of power so the break is less, so it's easier. <laughs> you can't do that. It's why downhill I don't like because you can't do that. You can't just play it oh, all. I'll play it. I'll play it a little, you know what I mean? A little hard. Stop the break a little bit because it will stay out. 
It's a bit too pacey, but up all you can do it. Is straight away. Right, par four here. Uh, just track it. Swing. Holes at the back of the green, so we just want all the power we can get here. Play this one a little, a little safe, actually. Watch out, this could hit the flag. Good job I did. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. Yeah, this one's Tiger Vision in. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to go back there. There we go. If I put it on the actual Tiger Vision, it will miss. You can't just blindly trust it. Yeah, DeMarco. Gets the lead, gets, oh, gets, gets second place. Tiger was just caught up to win by one. The finishing hole summer but We have played quite well here today. No chipping. Which, which is annoying. And I can get a better score, but the wind screwed us on the uh, half equal chances here today. A spectacular drive here. Which is annoying, really, because I feel like we deserve like a chipping or something. We played well enough to get it. If, if I'm honest with you. I'll try and get it here. Don't be surprised if this one hits the flag stick. Yeah, it's been a little too long. The six feet. If this one goes in. Be a simple you're putt. A birdie on every hole on the course. Yep, nice and easy. Greens weren't too bad. Couldn't quite preserve all my target visions really, but it is, it is what it is. A solid round here. A very good round. Won't be a record because I, I, I love I love uh, rounds where I've got the eagles. The half eagle chances because the wind will be the right. You know the. The way I need it. I'm not in my face, but it is what it is. Next time, we'll finish up at Edgewood. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.